Hi, friends. My name is Missy Pyle. I am an actor and I am in the uh, film, upcoming film Unseen. How would you describe this film to someone who hasn't heard about it yet? So Unseen is like a, it's like a horror thriller Bloomhouse movie um, where this one woman is kidnapped by her ex and uh, she's trying to get away, but she's like a little like Velma from Scooby-Doo and that she can't see without her glasses or glasses get destroyed. So she does have her phone. And so she tries to FaceTime the last number that she died, which ends up being this wrong number, which is a woman, another woman across the country who's in a working in a gas station. She's sort of down on her life, down on her luck. And she's, tells this woman, like, you have to help me get away from my, this guy who's going to kill me. And so that's, that's the premise of the movie is her trying to help this woman. And of course, um, she doesn't really want to, she doesn't think she's qualified to help this woman. And then her phone, she's got a phone that's, you know, almost out of battery is in her a crappy uh, charger that doesn't work. And so there's all kinds of crazy uh, shenanigans ensuing. I really wanted to talk to you today because I love your character. <laughs> um, can you describe who your character is and what is she like to be in the same room as? Karen. Oh, <laughs> Carol. Ah. I mean, was that a slip? I don't Carol know. Is, Carol is uh, the type of woman who has, um, she's put a lot of effort into her life, into making it exactly how she wants it to be. And then she believes that everyone else if they haven't put that much effort into their life, then too bad for them. But um, she expects things to go a certain way. And and if they don't go that way, then she's going to have, she sweats the small stuff. You know what I'm saying? What is it like to play a villain like this? I love playing a villain. I love it because I feel like we are all constantly, um, in order to survive in the world, you have to kind of go along with things that that don't always feel great. And it's fun to just occasionally get to, you know, vomit all over everything with your anger and frustration. So it's fun to let it all out. Are you accustomed to playing the villain? Have you done it a few times before? <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I've, I've played like social villains uh, more than anything. And um I play people that don't necessarily, their empathy <laughs> meter is a little low. Um, but I feel like I have so much in my own life that it's kind of fun to see, to, to kind of let this out. But I also, the thing, and I think we've all kind of seen like the, the, the bar has been, um, I mean, lowered so tremendously and people are insane right now. So the truth is always stranger than fiction. I, every character I have ever played, I, the, the insanity that like, I've seen it, I've watched it and I'm, it's real. <laughs> so. so you're not exactly new to the world of horror. You actually have a very iconic role in another Bloomhouse movie, Ma. Did you yeah. know that horror fans are particularly drawn to that role and that it really made a bit of a splash in our community? Did it really? Yeah, it did. Tell me more. Yeah, has no horror fans ever approached you about that role before? No, I mean, I know she's, again, she's also like a very, um, you know, if you don't like me, go yourself, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. I um, have I have worked for this. So if you try to take it from me. What is your personal relationship with horror? I'm a little scared of it, to be honest with you. Um, I watched a horror film when I was, I think it was one of the Halloween films when I was very little. I think it was Halloween. I can't, I remember there was a couple, like a teenagers making out on a, a couch in the woods on a cabin and someone broke through the window above them and I couldn't sleep for like two years. It kind of sounds like Friday the 13th. Maybe that's what it was. I don't know how I ended up watching it either. Like, <laughs> I I think um, it took me like three days to get through. Um, what's the Jack Nicholson movie? The Shining. Red Red. The Shining. I watched it in a makeup trailer at night. I had to turn it off and watch it the next day during the broad daylight. I, I don't know. That's a big one. There's. It's just you know. There's something about 
the, you know, the darkness that is mm-hmm. dark. What about you, you? Oh, I mean, there's been a ton of them, but there was always one that growing up called Candyman that really scared me. So that was the big one. Um, <laughs> do you have any like phobias or strange fears outside of horror movies that you'd want to share? Um, well, I mean, yeah, I have a fear of being like buried alive. Whoa, that's intense. I shouldn't even say it. <laughs> or being, you know, kidnapped by someone in a in a weird situation. Oh my um, god. Where did the buried alive thing come from? Did it was there like did you ever watch anything or what's that movie uh that I actually they remade it here with um it was a oh, was it a German, a Dutch film. Oh, the woman gets buried, buried the alive. And the guy's like, you gotta tell me what happened to her. And he's like, you don't really want to know. And he's just, and it's, he's, she's buried alive. Yes. And they remade it with Sandra Bullock. I think. Sandra Bullock. That's a really scary movie. So you, you've seen some of the darker stuff out there. What's next for you after Unseen? I have a couple other movies coming out. None of them are horror films, uh, but I have a film called, um, a Tourist Guide to Love, which comes out on Netflix next month. And then I have a series called Shelter, which comes out on Amazon in a few months. Perfect. Okay, well, we're going to have to keep an eye out for both of those. Thank you so much for chatting with us today. And good luck with everything. It was so nice to meet you. Yeah, Thank it was you. nice to meet you too.